This is uh, Province Sports columnist Ted Willis with the audio file from uh, Thursday night's game. Well, um, after uh, two impressive wins on the road, the Canucks uh, went into Chicago on Thursday night. A decent effort for their third game in four nights, but there was a couple of brain, brain cramps in the third period that was uh, re really the difference. Um, uh, it was 1-1 uh, one, one after, after one. Uh, Canucks nursed that goal, and it looked like they might be able to drag this one into at least overtime, but uh, Jonathan Tays got a, a, a fortunate uh, uh, bounce eight minutes into the third period. Uh, flutter ball went off the crossbar, settled into the, in the, in, into the Canucks crease, and uh, Tays was able to beat uh, Dan Hamhues to the lo loose puck. Um, maybe the more uh, damning play uh, came uh, two and a half minutes later when uh, Bo Horvat made one of his few rookie mistakes of the season. Turned the puck over to Marcus Kruger, who uh, went in and deked Eddie Lack on the backhand. Canucks had a couple of chances after that. Uh, they had the Hawks under pressure, but um, Chicago has played a very solid team game And uh, since Patrick Kane went down with an injury in February. And uh, they're 10-4-2 uh, without Kane, which, uh, which is impressive. They uh, rely on their system. They rely on goalie Corey Crawford. And uh, they still have Jonathan Tays uh, uh, to lead them when that breaks down. So uh, Canucks 2-1 and one on the road trip. Uh, they wind up Saturday in Winnipeg, and then they uh, they come home for uh, three games to finish off the season and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, lock down a playoff spot. Uh, this is Ed Willis signing off.